Hey everybody, Kurt here from Crave the Heat. Um, another midnight snack. This time change is sort of getting weird on me. I'm sure it's getting weird on anybody. But um, I don't know, Hope, hopefully they they change that. They said they were going to, but who knows. Anyway, this is another uh, midnight snack edition. Um, I'm going to do a bit more savory uh savory wrap this edition um i'm all bundled up this is going to be kind of like a shed edition this is this is the garage um i love it out here it's kind of like a place to get away you know and uh you know when you don't want to always be in the house we gotta uh we gotta soak up all that um <clears throat> all that warm weather that we're having right now before the snow flies Found my Star Wars hat. You know I'm a Star Wars geek, so hey, let's do this. Um, I did put, um, I wasn't able to be in the house too long. Uh, so I just, I made everything uh, in-house and then I'm bringing it out to a place where I uh, I like to just escape sometimes. It's like, it's kind of like a man cave sort of deal. But, um, so I can't show you show you like everything i put into it but i will tell you what i put into it and um it's a wrap edition so of course my gateway uh any beginner's gateway uh, jalapeno peppers definitely a lot of jalapeno peppers in there um and then i also put um some i i like my potatoes crunchy so i don't overcook them um I don't like my potatoes mushy. So, uh, crunchy potatoes with basil, garlic, uh, butter garlic, um, garlic butter, sorry. And um, and also, I put in uh, some sweet and sour sauce into it. And then also, um, the, uh, the, um, the lava hot uh, stru uh, Star Wars stormtrooper edition hot sauce is in there all right so we're gonna get to this one tried to escape on me <laughs> but i'm really curious about um how the sweet and sour sauce is going to work with uh the hot sauce and the jalapenos and the crunchy potatoes so We'll see. Kurt, crave the heat. Let's go. Hmm. The, um... <clears throat> the potatoes are are adding like a um definitely a savory flavor to it for sure and they're giving a nice crunch because i don't overcook cook my potatoes ever i never do that i eat a lot of times i eat potatoes raw um but i like just a quick blanch and but i want them to stay crunchy Um, <clears throat> I did put cream cheese in there. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not, but <clears throat> this is really good. For a nice uh, savory midnight snack. Hmm. 
I'm 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 hitting a little bit of uh, heat to my comfortable level at the at this point anyway. Um, I'm gonna feel it in my throat. <clears throat> this is a warm jalapeno, which I love. Um, I put I I also put um um what else did I put? I put two series of the Star Wars Star Wars Star Wars hot sauces in here. It was hot lava and the kaboom kaboom. Um stormtrooper edition. Forgot to mention that. That sweet and sour sauce though. It's no not overpowering. Um, I just, I always, I always make my own sweet and sour sauce. I don't buy sweet and sour sauce, like, out the jar. I make my own. Um. And I add, I always add more, more vinegar than a lot of people might enjoy. Um, I like, I like the, the sour, sourness of more vinegar in your sweet and sour sauce, so. <clears throat> I use organ like um uh organic apple cider vinegar or or just uh, like a good quality vinegar. You don't want to cheap out on that. Hmm. That's wonderful. Hmm. Uh, I used I used russet potatoes because um, they uh, russet potatoes can normally I use red potatoes or something like something with color but all I, ha I had available was russet potatoes and they um, they hold their structure better than than just straight up uh, like white potatoes or something they they just get too they get too mushy too quick for my liking the rest of the potatoes, they hold their structure, their texture better, and they keep keep a better crunch, in my opinion. So that's what I used. Meeting quick, but I gotta keep this video short tonight. Um, those are the, the crunchy russets there. Uh, I pretty much ate all the jalapenos that are on the top there. Still a few at the bottom. Hmm. It's not as weird as I'm going to get. I have uh, new ideas coming up for future episodes. Um, <clears throat> that was a little, a little less weird. Because you always know that... Uh, Normal is weird to me. Weird is normal to me. Um. Hmm. That was really good. That was that was a nice savory midnight snack. Um. Um. I'm gonna start uh, adding other other things to um uh to the to the channel, like um um. Red chili flakes and uh, just to to ramp it up a little bit. There's other hot sauces coming up, um, and different kinds of peppers that aren't aren't like too extreme, so still very good for beginners um, that are getting into the chili head game. Excuse me, sorry. Um, and uh, uh, there's lots lots more plans coming up. Lots more episodes coming up. A lot of different, different, weird combinations. 
of food because when I started this channel, um, I thought I would just eat straight up pods, but then, then I was thinking, well, why don't, like, I've been a chef for a long time, oh, excuse me, I've been a chef for a long time, so why not combine, combine the, the hot peppers with some kind of food as well, but just be straight up weird with it and see how the combination of food might combine with themselves you'd be very shocked very shocked um if you if you just experiment um as a chef too i i i never i never read a cookbook or anything like that i would just i would just improvised and sometimes you will be surprised what you can come up with um it's uh it might might just blow your mind it might suck but <laughs> but it might blow your mind as well so um don't be afraid to experiment just uh just go f just shoot for the moon shoot for the moon man oh uh, oh actually never mind shoot for the death star <laughs> all right everybody i hope you ha you have a good day coming up uh kids are back to school so um <clears throat> yeah that's uh that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next episode. All right. Kurt from Crave the Heat. See you next episode.